be fascinating. Well, it's the, the first time that we have seen this at a major championship. Spanish team go in lane number two. Of course, this is a mixed team. You have to have two male and two female swimmers in the team in Spain. They look strong. Julia Castello Fari, the S6 swimmer. Richard Oribe next, Teresa Perales and Sebastian, Sebastian Rodriguez. Italy in lane three, Russia in lane four, Greece in lane five, and Ukraine in lane six. Well, Ukraine, very interesting lineup. They finish with an S8 swimmer. The others pretty much level looking at the class is kind of in the middle range. Remember, you tot up the points for your classification. So if you're an S3, that earns you three points. If you're an S4, it earns you four points, etc. So the total of your points cannot exceed 20 points. It should be fascinating here. The first time this race has been run at a major championships. The four by 50 meters mixed freestyle relay, 20 points. Well, expect the, the Russians to dominate with an early lead here a male s7 swimmer Shukarev is who they are starting with and he is absolutely powering down the pool in lane six we're going to try and keep across this pretty complicated as you can imagine it won't start to flatten out really until we get to the end if it does at all Shukarev looks like he's going to lead the russians into the first changeover he's an s7 swimmer hands over to the female s3 swimmer Julia Shushova is in the water for Russia. Olena Fedota will hand over to Dmitro Vinoradets for Ukraine. They are in second position at the moment. It's very close for third, but it could be the Spanish. Richard Oribe in for Spain. Well, the Russian still leading Shushova is just about holding on to that lead. Vino Radet still in second position. Richard Oribe bringing the Spanish back into contention. Ariola Trimi for Italy. Two champions there side by side on the far side of the pool, but it is still Russia. Lazikin goes in for Russia. And in for Ukraine is Olga Spiderska. Can she? make any inroads to the Russians. The Spanish are in with Teresa Perales and in for Italy is Castanato. Well, Perales really taking the second place and bearing down now on the Russian team in lane number four. It's Luzinki. Perales, look at her eating up that lead. It really is all gonna come down to the final 50. Rodriguez versus Diodrova of Russia. Well, I think it's got to be that the Spanish team have got to be favourites for this one. Diodorova is in. And she uses that 50 metres underwater with Sebastian Rodriguez coming back for the Spanish team. He's got to be the favourite for this one. And it's Hermenko for the Ukrainian team, the S8 swimmer on the last leg. They will pick up ground, but surely they cannot catch Sebastian Rodriguez for Spain. Rodriguez is coming home for the Spanish team. Hernenko coming back with every stroke, but it's going to be gold to Spain. Oh, and the silver and has been snatched by the Ukrainian wow. team from Ukrainian the Russian silver. Oh. Hernenko, the silver for Ukraine. Diodorova just pipped in the closing stages, but Rodriguez takes it for the Spanish team. They take gold, Ukraine the silver, and Russia the bronze. Oh, well, what an exciting race. The lead changing all the time as 
teams burn up different amounts of points and use different genders at various places within their relay teams. There we go, big smile. <laughs> Theatre of uh, trying not to look at the big screen. Sebastian Rodriguez there with Chiaroni of Italy. Sebastian Rodriguez as well. He's the experienced man. We didn't really know where to look in that relay, did we? It was all over the place in the early stages. Absol absolutely a, fant a fantastic race. I really hope it becomes part of the uh, part of the programme. Here's Rodriguez coming into the final five metres. Incredible stroke turnover. A massive, massive power he's got. And there, closest to pitcher, that was the Ukrainians overhauling the Russians. Right at the death as well, yeah. into the last five metres. And Sebastian Rodriguez was clearly ahead. Of course, we haven't got the official result yet. And it's always a nervous wait for the relay teams. We tend to uh, have more disqualifications in relays than anything else because of the changeovers. So let's hope it doesn't affect those medal positions because it was a great performance by the Spanish team, Sebastian Rodriguez waving to the crowd at the end of that race. Well, there's the Spanish team. Absolutely superb way to end the night for them of day two. Ale, David, obviously uh, Spanish, as you know, Paul. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Have we got an official result? We do indeed. There is a disqualification. It's the team from Greece. But in the mixed 4x50 freestyle relay, 20 points. Spain become the first European champions. Ukraine the silver and Russia the bronze.